Okay, let's see. Looks like Harvard definitely has the smallest class sizes. Okay, we've got our first entry here. It's a pro for Harvard. Oh, whoa, whoa, those are not the final official pro con list. Why? What's wrong with them? What, the lines are crooked. The printing's all sloppy. Harvard, Princeton, and Yale cannot see them looking like that. They're not going to see our pro con list. <laughs> what if they subpoena them? Then I'll roll them up in a ball and eat them. Oh, a big pro for Yale. They have 1,100 members of the maintenance staff. Clean, clean, clean. All three of these places probably have the same number. But Yale must be crowing about it for some reason. Princeton might only have two. Two? Yeah. You think there are a total of two guys cleaning all of Princeton? Right, Princeton stinking filthy in big letters. Yeah, I'm pretending to write it as we speak. Good morning, ladies. May I interest you in a shirt? Oh, Kirk, you're not selling your laundry again, are you? No, these are part of my latest money-making endeavor. I'm going to print daily t-shirts featuring a humorous topical headline of something I witness around town. Neat. I got the idea when I read about something a man was doing in Portland. What was he doing? He was printing daily t-shirts featuring a humorous topical headline of something he witnessed around town. Is that today's? Sure is. Babette ate oatmeal. Huh. Yeah. I'm keeping it real. It's good. Paints a picture. I can just see her eating oatmeal. Mm. They're $14.95. How many can I put you down for? No solicitors, Kirk. How about if I cut you in for a piece of the action? How about I toss the shirts out the door first so you can have something to land on? Got it. What's with the lists? You ready? My Rory, our Rory, Stars Hollow's Rory, got into Harvard, Princeton, and Yale. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. I can't believe it. I, I feel like I... Yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh, okay. No. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm not good at hugging. Oh, I thought it worked. <laughs> Thanks. Man, this is big, right? Very big. But what's with all the pro-con lists? That's how we make our important decisions, you know that. But you know what it's gonna be, Harvard. Probably. But not necessarily. But Harvard's all you've talked about for years. Well, who knew she'd be wanted by everyone? Hey, which school best teaches how to make an important life decision without doing a stupid pro-con list? Whichever one it is, add it to the pro column. Do not mock the scientificity of our selection process. I've gotta head to school. Hey, why go anymore? You're in college. Let's go truffle hunting or something. Maybe after I graduate. All right, but if all the good truffles are gone, don't say I didn't warn you. Bye. Bye. I can't believe how great that is. All three? Oh, they have good taste. Well, you know, uh, Jess also, well, it's so tiny compared to this, but it's gonna sound dumb. What? Tell me. Well, you know how Jess works at Walmart? Yes, I do. Well, it seems he was actually chosen employee of the month. Really? I knew it would sound tiny. No, Luke, that's not tiny. That's really good. Yeah, I mean, there's probably hundreds of people working at that branch and they singled him out. Yeah, it shows you can work hard and get along with people and all that. You should be proud. Did you tell him you're proud? Oh, he didn't even tell me about it. I got a letter addressed to the family of Jess Mariano inviting me down to some little ceremony they're having. Are you going? Oh, he hated if I was there. You know, seeing him participating in some corporate ceremony like that, being called upstanding and responsible, it would kill him. Yeah, I'm going. Good boy. <laughs> so are we going? No, you go on ahead. I'll catch up. Okay. Try and make it home time for Charlie Rose. Billy Joel's on, and he might cry or something. Okay. <laughs> so, how was Jess's employee of the month thing? That was okay. Just okay? There was punch. So the punch wasn't good? No, it was just the, the manager came up afterwards when Jess was gone, and he was talking about how Jess is working 40, 45 hours a week. What? That's full time. That's what I said. <laughs> how does he swing it? He must be pulling double shifts on the weekends. That's no, all I can think of. he's pretty much doing it with Rory on the weekends. Well, then he must be getting up super early on weekday mornings and going in. Have you ever seen him do that? No, but I don't trail him either. Yeah, but you sleep in the same room with him. Well, the manager must be getting just confused with somebody else. Or... Or what? I don't want to say. No, say it. it. Go ahead. Or he's working when he should be in school. Impossible. No way. Why? Because he knows the rules. He's got to graduate to stay living with me. He's going, he's getting everything done. He's doing his work. You've seen this work he's doing? Not for a while, but I just know that he is. No, no way he's cutting school. It's suicide. No way. I shouldn't have brought it up. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Good night.